Hi guys, Ross here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this shadow in my latest animation, which is over on my Facebook, Instagram and Twitter account if you're not already following those platforms. So as you can see, we have a shadow at the bottom and it is animating as well as the front piece of lettering. So I'm just going to hop back into After Effects and we'll show you how to create that shadow effect. So here I have all my animated layers and if you don't know how to animate your hand lettering I already have a tutorial on my channel, I'll put a link in the description for that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is press Command A on your layers palette which will select all the layers and we're going to right click and hit pre-compose. Now what this does is groups all the layers together into one single layer and you can then click on that layer and it will open up all these layers again so you can edit them if you need to. So I'm just going to call this animation and hit OK. So as you can see we have one layer now and if we double click it we have all our layers again if we needed to edit anything. So I'm just going to exit out of that and the first thing we're going to want to do is create a lighter background because obviously you won't have a shadow if we're on a black background. So we're just going to go up to layer, new solid, uh, press make comp size and we're just going to change this to like a light grey probably about there. Hit OK and we're just going to make sure we drag that below our animation layer. So that's like that and actually I'm going to apply a gradient to this background just to give it a more realistic appearance. So I'm going to select our white solid we just made, come up to effects and presets and type in gradient and just come to gradient ramp and double click that. So I'm going to change the black from that to a uh, really light grey and then change the second one to like a darker grey just something like that perfect so now what we're going to want to do is duplicate our animation layer so we're just going to select that and press command D that would be control D if you're on a PC and you're going to come over and you're going to want to tick this little 3D cube box here so what this is going to do is make it a 3D layer now if you don't have that 3D box, you can simply toggle the switches and modes at the bottom by pressing the button that says toggle switches and modes and just press the 3D cube to make it 3D. So we're now going to press R whilst having this layer selected and this is going to bring up all our rotation parameters. So the first thing we're going to want to do is change the X rotation. So I'm going to change this to plus 90 which makes it completely flat. So then we can come in and click and drag the blue arrow, which is gonna move our Z position and just bring it down below the other piece of text. So now if we play this through, you can see they're both animating at the same time. Now that doesn't look like a shadow at the moment because obviously it's white and there is no kind of blur to it. So we're just gonna apply those effects now. So I'm gonna rename this layer to shadow by pressing enter whilst having it selected and just typing shadow and then we're going to come up to effects and presets and grab fill then double click on fill and we'll change this color to a black maybe not completely black like a really really dark gray there we go perfect and now we're going to come up to effects and presets again and we're going to type in gaussian blur double click on that and we can change this to about well it's really up to you i'm going to change this to about a Crikey, uh, let's change this to about 30 I reckon, probably go higher than that, let's change it to 40. And we're then going to come down to our layer again, press T which brings up our opacity parameter and we can change this down to about 20, there we go. So if we just play this back from the beginning now by pressing preview and pressing the play button it's just going to ram preview it so it's just going to be a bit slow. You can see the shadow animating alongside the text and this just gives it a really good sense of depth to your piece and it makes it look a lot more 3D as well so it's really something interesting you can add to your animations just to make it stand out that bit more. So I'm going to let the rest of this RAM preview and then we can watch it properly and we can see what we think. Okay so it just finished RAM previewing it so now we can play it back properly in real time. So as you can see we have a nice shadow which has a bit of blur, it's a bit faded to make it look realistic and we also have that faded background from light grey to a medium grey and altogether these effects just give it a lot more depth and just make your piece stand out really. So thanks for watching guys and if you found today's video helpful make sure to hit that like button and if you have any suggestions for future videos make sure to put them in the comment section down below and finally if you're not subscribed 
make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more future content and thanks again for watching guys and I will catch you in the next video.